Tonight, which is three weeks until the midterms, there is already record early voting in Georgia. More than 131,000 ballots cast on day one. They're up 85 percent from the last midterm election in 2018. So voter interest high nationwide as well. Nearly 2.5 million early ballots cast. Just moments ago in Florida, debate wrapped up in the battle between Senator Marco Rubio and Democratic challenger Congresswoman Val Demings. Here's Senator Rubio answering a key question for all candidates this time around. Will you accept results of the 2022 election? I've never denied an election, ever. I've never said an election. I'm not like Stacey Abrams in Georgia that denied her election. I've never denied an election. I think in Florida, I think in Florida, we have great election laws, but I think elections have to have rules. And Congresswoman Deming supported this effort to have a federal takeover of elections. What would that look like? You can't ask for ID. You have to ask for ID to get into her neighborhood where she lives, and that you have every right to have that. You, you, but you can't ask for it when they vote? Allowing people to drive around with a trunk full of absentee ballots? Allowing people to, to basically register on the, an hour before the same day of the election, show up and vote and inject chaos? We have to have rules and we have to have laws. And those laws have to be followed. Florida has good election laws. And we have record turnout, like they had record turnout in Georgia, which they were out there calling some sort of segregationist Jim Crow bill. No, these are rules. These are rules that allow people to have confidence that their vote counted and their vote mattered. They're not suppressing anyone's vote. They are rules designed to make sure the system works the way it's supposed Let to work. Let me just get you on record here that you will support the results of the 2022 election. We have great laws in Florida, absolutely. But will you? Sure, because I'm going to win, right, so I done. look forward to supporting that. But, but <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> But, but yes, no but, matter what the outcome is, I'll support it because Florida has good laws. Again, we're now just three weeks from counting the votes. CNN's one and only senior data reporter, Harry Enten, joins us now. So what are we seeing out of Florida with this race? Uh, look, Marco Rubio is going to win. You know, I don't think there's a lot of mystery there. You know, obviously strange things can happen. But if you look at the polling, Marco Rubio is clearly ahead five to ten points. I think we have a poll up there on the screen right now that has him up seven points. Uh, look, it's a red state. It's probably going to be a good year for Republicans. So the Republican candidate, Marco Rubio, is going to win. 